Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and I'm a Stamping Up UK independent demonstrator. And today I have a card tutorial for you. So I have this gorgeous card here which is using all new products from the new Occasions catalogue. Normally when I do a card I do it as a time lapse but because this was a new products and also because I do a lot of colouring in it I thought I'd just do it as a speaking through tutorial. So this is using the new Petal Palette stamp set from the new catalogue which is lovely and it has thinlets to go along with it. I'm not using the thinlets for this project but I'm sure I will be and it's using the new Petal Palette suite of designer series paper. I'll just grab it for you so you can have a look. It's beautiful. It's all black and white so you can colour it in and change it to whichever colour you like. It's 12 by 12 and you have got these beautiful patterns all of which will work brilliantly with our blends. I love that one. I think that might be my favourite. Or that one. I'm, <laughs> I'm one of those people, I love them all. But this is my favourite DSP from the new catalogue so instead of doing an unboxing video with you I've decided I'm just going to do tutorials on all the new suites and this was obviously my first because I love the paper, I really do. So what you need for this project is I've used Calypso Coral and I'm going to for my other one. And for this project I'm going to be doing a fold card. So I'm just going to fold it that way instead of doing a tent fold card. So it's just a five piece of paper folded straight over. I had pre-scored it so that's why it's folded so easy but I'm just going to use my bone folder. I will apologise, I have got a terrible cold. So I probably sound a lot deeper than I normally am. <laughs> and I do apologise. But there's nothing I can do. I'm trying to get rid of it. I have got a layered piece of black, which is three and seven eighths of an inch by five and six eighths of an inch, which just layers on top of that quite nicely. And then my DSP is three and three quarters of an inch by five and a half inches and that just layers straight on top of that quite nicely as well. So you just get a tiny little bit of black around the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight into colouring these with my blends. So I'm using Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight and Old Olive. I'm gonna start with the Old Olive piece first. This is a bit lengthy but I will try to go as quick as I can decided to do a thank you card because I've got some wonderful treats for Christmas. I have been spoiled. I don't know how many of you know the brand Lush, but my room smells like a Lush body shop right now. It's so beautiful. I think I could have a bath every day to Easter and still not run out of bath products. I don't know whether someone's trying to tell me something, but it's been great because once you have a cold, all you do is Feel like jumping in a bath isn't it so it's great for me all right so all i'm doing is coming in with a darker old olive and i'm just creating sort of a shadow on each of the leaves that would be the leaves of the plant i'm ignoring the flowers i'm just coming around with the markers You could do this with your watercolour pencils. This would look quite nice with your watercolour pencils, actually. I never thought about it. Otherwise, I'd have done one in watercolour pencils and one in blends to show you what it's like. I know, at the end of the video, I'll grab a piece of scrap and I'll try it with my watercolour pencils and the aqua marker, and we'll see how we go. I'm not sure if I've caught them all, but I'll know as I go along. And then just coming in with the light old olive just to... Blend those in. I always find when I'm doing mass colouring there's lots of little bits I've missed and you don't know until the end and you look and you think, why is that not coloured in? But it's so easy to miss. These products are all available for customers from the 3rd of January and of course they fall in with celebration. If you've not been through a celebration period before any items you order from anywhere on Stamping Up, it doesn't just have to be the new brochure, it can be the annual catalogue or any of the carryover products from the Christmas catalogue, you can get a free celebration item when you spend 
£45 or more. And I think that's €50. Euro. Don't quote me on it. My, uh, my method of calculating and equating what euro and pound is isn't very good. But it's definitely £45 in the UK and it's £90 for any of the higher value items. I'll run through it, I'll tell you all what it is. There's bound to be blog posts on it. Right, Calypso Coral. I've done the big flowers here with Calypso Coral. I just went round the edges and then I just did it as a little star. And you don't have to be neat here because this just blends in with a lighter one. It looks lovely when it's done. I'm not normally a fan of Calypso Coral. I don't know about you. They used Calypso Coral with this suite on stage and it looked quite nice. And then when I come, I've done a craft room clear out yesterday and I worked out how many bits of paper I've got and I've got hundreds of packs of Calypso Coral. <laughs> I don't know where I've managed to accrue all of those from. And I thought, well, I better start using through those. So I decided this card was going to be Calypso Coral. Just do my stars in the middle because I forgot those. And then just come in with the lighter one and just blend them all in together. No matter how old the videos are, um, I still seem to go to the stamping blends as my first point of call. I love the watercolour pencils, but since these have come out, I just use the blends all the time. In the new catalogue, they've got Brusho um, for their colouring. That looks, I haven't got it, I didn't order it. I'm not a big colouring fan, I think that's why I like the blends. They just seem so, so easy to use and go on with. So I haven't ordered the Brusho, I'm being a wimp and seeing what everyone else makes with it first. But everyone seems to have made some really nice um, canvases with the brush it's like a powder and when you apply it to the water it just seems to make some pretty designs um i'm gonna see how easy it is before i order it because i can't do complicated things that take for edge ever to do or dry i like my products to be quite quite quick and simple if i come into my craft room i I know quite a few people do, they sit down and they want to make a really beautiful detailed product and they'll just do that one sort of product in a whole day and they're really happy with it. But if it takes ages to dry and it's fiddly, it's a no for me. So I'm just going to bring those in. I've noticed some of the green that I've missed already just here so I'm going to have to come in at the end. But that's okay, it's not a, not a marathon. I'll get it done. You could colour the background of this as well. Um, I haven't. I thought it was so bright with the colours on it that I left the background as white. But you can. And you could shade it. So you could use your watercolour pencils there so it's not as bright. You know, there's so many different options with this paper and you can do it with all of the paper. So these little flowers here, I came in and I did them with the Daffodil Delight. So I just did a few little dots on each one. Well, that's a leaf. That should be green. Shh. Ignore that. No one saw that. <laughs> There's the flower. Those will all be yellow and then it will highlight which bits I've missed because I've missed some of the Calypso coral ones, I know. This is why I like doing my time lapse for my cards because I, I can just speed it up. I... I really worry that you're all going to be sitting there listening to me chatter nonsense and think, what is she going on about? But I wanted to explain the paper to you. It's just so beautiful. Going as quick as I can, honest. But if I colour outside the lines, I'll be really angry with myself. So... I'm sure you've got the hang of it by now. OK. 
Okay, just going to come in again with the green that I missed. So I've missed these ones down here. I'm just doing them with a the light green. Miss colouring those ones in. Which ones did I miss over here? That one. Run that up with the dark. For these ones, just squiggling the top and just around the bottom. On there. A few more missing. Oh, is this therapeutic paper? Should we, should we say that? It's just sit down and colour away. It would probably be easier if you coloured a whole 12 by 12 inch one in and made a, a bulk of cards. I don't know, do it at once sheet wonder type idea. Um, if you want any measurements for one sheet wonders, just check my site. There is a couple on there. Um, I must apologise anyone who was watching my one sheet wonder that happened over Christmas. I had a problem with my website. I put things to post and they didn't post out. And uh, they changed my server over Christmas. So it didn't go up there, but it's up there now. So that's my piece of paper all done. It's not all done. I've just noticed I haven't done that one. There we go. All done. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it and stick it to the black. So I'm just going to use my snail for this. As you can see, if you've got a planner or anything, I will do a tutorial on the planner. If you've got the planner, the stamping blends aren't great to use for it because the colours bleed through the side of the paper. So just going to lay that up there and then I'm just going to grab the organizer ribbon so the organizer ribbon is this color it's a lovely whisper white and it's in the new catalog and it's with this suite but what's great about it is you can take it and you can grab your calypso coral you can grab any color this works fantastic with it and all you need to do is just follow it along with the blends and it colors it in so simple, so easy. I'll tell you what I did earlier just to make it not move. I just put my block on it. I put the block on at the end and then ran my pen all the way down it. And it worked, worked a treat really. Turn it over and do the other side. It does go through, but it just doesn't go through as cleanly. So just tidy up the other side. And then again and this is great thing about this ribbon it's beautiful but it means you can just change it to any of the colors that you you want to use so it will match with any project and to me that is the best part about this ribbon and it's the one that I ordered quite a few of from the catalog just because I know it would fit with any project okay almost finished it dries pretty quick as well so I'm just going to, oh, <laughs> that was daft, pull the lid off one end to put it on the other end. I'm just going to run through in the centre of there, just so it takes off any bleed. And you can see there's not that much, so it does dry quite quick. Okay, ready to put that on the card. I'm then going to do my stamping. So I used the lovely little bird just up here and the thank you from here. And I did them both with my memento ink. use the side of the paper that I haven't already just dirted thank you and um, what I love about this bird and I'm going to show you and see if you can see it does that show up on there very well I'm not sure I wonder I can't put my um can't put my light on while it's on it's darker in certain areas of the bird so that when you stamp it so let's just stamp the bird you get that sort of mottled impression 
which gives it a very watercolored color. I like that. If you wanted a clear print, this bird is not for you, but to make it look effective and give it that watercolor technique, it is definitely a beautiful stamp. I'm just going around it. I'm not fussy fussy cutting around it. I'm leaving a little bit of whisper white at the sides. That's because I'm not very good at fussy cutting. I feel better than me, cut really close to it, but I'm not very good at it. I don't have the patience for fussy cutting, I think. But there we go, there's the bird. I'm just going to go in under his beak so he does look like he's got a bit of a, a peak. There we go. Okay, and with him, I just use the crumb cakes and the ivory um, blending pens. So I'm just going to really quickly colour him in. I left his eye white. I don't know why I didn't give him a, a colour. I use the party pandas. Have you seen the party pandas yet from the celebration? So cute. Absolutely lovely. I will show them you at the end of this video. And the party pandas have eyes and I coloured the eyes in and it made them look demented. So I've avoided the eyes on my bird. <laughs> I don't want that to look, look demented. Right, take your glue dots. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you. I'd already pre-cut the organiser ribbon to nine and a half inches. I basically just measured it on this one. So take a, a glue dot and I'm going to start roughly about the same place as I did up here. And I'm just going to put the glue dots roughly where I want the organiser ribbon to fall. And I'm just going to follow it along. So starting up there, run it to there. You're not placing it tightly, you still want it to look quite loose because you want it to look like it's just just fell on the paper magically. <laughs> Run that back. And then again, just give that a bit more space. Another glue dot just on there. Run that to, to there. Okay, just take another glue dot and I'm placing the glue dot just in the middle there and I'm using the bronze thread. And I can find the end of it, there we go. I've knotted it. It's so thin, this thread, that it's so, it is very easy to knot. I'm just going to take another glue dot and just stick that middle bit down because that's going to annoy me. Okay, so starting on here, I'm just very loosely, and I bet you can't see this on the camera, I am just looping the thread around. I'm not doing anything the thread doesn't want to do, so I'm just very loosely spinning it into circles and sticking it on the glue dots. Okay, how it just falls naturally. And I'm doing four or five little little swells before I just cut it off and I'm going to leave it with a bit of a long tail so it it doesn't look perfect it just looks like a little little spider's web can you, you see that on there put a glue dot on the top of there just to stick, seal it down make sure everything's stuck including my finger <laughs> then I'm just going to cut out the thank you I'm going to cut that just completely straight. Like that. I'm going to just cut in the edge like that. So it's got a little triangle. So I've got a piece of black. I have just a scrap piece of black. Do the same. So that's got a triangle. I'm just going to put a bit of snail just on the end of the white, like that. Stick that down. Cut that straight down there like that. And then I'm just going to take a couple of dimensionals as soon as I can find them. I think I'm going to take the edge dimensionals just because they're a little bit 
thinner to go on here. If I can pull it off, there we go. Pop that up with a dimensional on the back. Stick it on top of the glue dot, just there. And then I'm just going to pop a dimensional on the back of my bird. Put that on like that. Just take the card, pop a little bit of Tombow on the back. And stick it onto your card like that. And I'm just going to, because, you know, it's still Christmas-ish time and I haven't got all of the glitter out of my system yet. I'm just going to pop a little bit of Winker Stella on all of the gold flowers so that they just dazzle. Everything in my house is still decorated. I'm still all Christmas up and I still like my glitter. So glitter is going to go on there on top of all of the yellow flowers that people can see. And that's my card. Now I did say I'd see if I've got a piece of scrap. Let me have a look see if I've got a piece of scrap of this paper that I can show you. I haven't, but I'll just use the edge of the paper. I thought I had a bit of scrap somewhere. Must have imagined it. Um, my watercolour pens. I wasn't prepared to do this, so let me just grab them. And if I grab the Calypso Coral out, And the old olive is there. Okay, so if I just scribble in on the corner and grab my, where's my blender pen? There it is. Just And there you go, that is it with the blender pens and the watercolour pen. So you can see that's quite... Oh, I'm sorry, did I just colour that without you being able to see it? I'm... What am I like? So that's what it's like with the blends. And that's what it's like with the watercolour pencils. Nice, just a little bit brighter with the blends. Okay, so there we go. Those are the two thank you cards. I hope you liked it and I'll see you again for another project soon. Thanks everybody, bye.